All right, this video is about creating a keychain on Onshape. Okay, I am assigning this to my class, so there's going to be some constraints that they're using. Maybe you're watching this and you don't use those constraints, so do what you want to do. But here's how my students are going to be using it, using the tools that they know how to use so far, okay? So there's, again, more tools you can use, but we're going to use the ones that my kids know so far, and I'm going to kind of go through this really fast. It's a speed run. If you need to rewind it, go ahead and do so. Uh, and just go from there, okay? So directions, I got you this PDF in my classroom. Then lower down here, we have these emblems that I'm giving you to, to kind of start from. Obviously, if you want something else, just ask me and I'll probably approve it as long as it's school appropriate and I think you can get it done in two days, okay? So let's go back to Onshape, create a document. I'm gonna name this one example keychain. I am going to go to the front view. I'm going to say sketch. I'm going to sketch on the front. I'm going to start with a circle tool that starts right here in the origin. Pull it out. I'm going to make it two inches. Okay. Zoom in some. Make it easier to see. And I, now I'm going to draw half of the bottom part on the right with a line tool. So I'm going to make a little guideline I'm later going to delete. So there's my guideline. Turn off your line tool by hitting escape. Then I'm going to take that line right here. I'm going to drag it over. I definitely want to go a little past that. So looks like about 1.3 is a good number. So 1.3. We want it to go roughly in here. So I think 0.6 looks good. Okay. And then it needs to go straight back over to that line right there. Turn your line tool off, and I got myself a little rectangle over here with the line tool. And since I got that my dimensions now, I'm going to use the rectangle over here on the left. I'm going to say start here, go here, go over. How big do you want that? Well, I want to match the other side, so 1.3. Turn that tool off by hitting escape. Okay, so now you got a couple rectangles right there. And now we're going to use that trim tool to get rid of some of these extra lines. So let's get rid of that line, that line, that line that line and now get rid of that guideline that we made okay um, there are other ways to do that I haven't shown my classroom yet but obviously you can use construction lines my class just hasn't been taught that yet so just draw the line then delete the line we have this general shape right here now we're going to put a circle up here at the top to be able to fit the keychain through so we're gonna go with the circle tool starts right here on the center top drag it out how big do you want this you want it to be 0.3 hit enter and then you need to start right here and draw another one. And hold on one second. I got a student asking me a question. I'll be right back. Pause. And now I'm back after helping that student. So we had a 0.3 circle right here on the top and a 0.1 circle right here within that. So now we're going to use that trim tool right here. Click on the scissors. Zoom in. Delete the extra line. Delete the extra line. Delete the extra line. Don't forget these last two right here. Now we're going to zoom back out. And we're going to finish that sketch. Then we're going to extrude that sketch. Click right there. How big do you want it? Point 0.1, enter. Hit our check mark. Whenever you do things to make it 3D, I always suggest my students, especially as you're first getting started, to go to isometric view. Make sure it did what you want. Okay, so you want that thin little uh, one right there. So and then you're going to go back to the front view for the next steps. So step the basically the very beginning is done. If you're on the document following along in the classroom, that is basically... We just finished step seven. So now we're going to insert pictures and trace them next. And I'm going to do it really quick. So I want to do the Nike one so I can get the uh, assignment done faster for this video. Okay. So time to move this thing out of my way. Import should be the most recent thing you save to your Chromebook. Okay. Now it's imported on the on shape for us. Get this thing back out of my way by lowering in the bottom left. Now I'm going to start a sketch on top of the keychain that we just made 3D. Insert our image. Must have not clicked on it. There we go. All right, so now we're going to bring that in here. Draw a little rectangle. Let's see here. That looks like a good size to start. Let's move it here. Nope, still too big. So let's dimension that smaller. So this is a good time to show you guys if you have it too big or too small. Just make sure you dimension that. 2.03 is way too big. So let's try 1.75 in my case. Okay, that looks like it fits good. Turn off the dimension tool. Drag that to the center. 
Oops. I'm connected over here, so let's delete that connection point. Now let's remove it. Okay, so now we have the Nike in the middle of the thing. Let's finish that sketch so we can hide the sketch later. We're just going to trace it on a new sketch. Zoom in so it's easier to see. We are going to start a sketch on the shape we already made. I'm going to start it by doing the flat lines first. So looks like I got a flat line from here to here. And to right there. Then hit your escape button, turn off your line tool. And then I'm going to use the spline tool over here to finish the Nike emblem. So spline, start it right here. Again, I'm making this very quick, so it's not going to be the best. Turn your spline tool off. Yeah, that's not very good over there, so let's go ahead and uh, definitely move that line. I'm going to drag that back over. That looks better already. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to finish my sketch. I am going to hide sketch two so we no longer have the one that we traced. Now we're going to extrude that Nike emblem we just had. Let's go point one again. Okay. Looks a little crooked, but again, I'm making this fast. Okay. So you guys do better. So there's your Nike emblem that sticks out of it. And then we're going to say sketch. Right here again, now we're just going to use a type tool. And I'm going to say Nike. Make sure you put it in bold so it'll 3D print nicer. Hit your check mark. If you want it to be bigger, hit the D button on your keyboard or the dimension tool up there. Looks like I currently made it at 1.2. Let's make that up to like 1.4. Turn the dimension tool off, center it. Hit the check mark, extrude. What do you want to extrude? In this case, I'm just going to extrude the whole sketch four because it was just the letters. I'm going to make that stick out point one. Hit my check mark. Let on shape load and catch up with me. There it is. Isometric view. Zoom in. Take your screenshot so I can see that you got all this done in my classroom. That's what you do. Okay.